The late 1980s in the UK saw the birth of a new youth culture, Acid House. In two years, it was to outgrow the underground clubs of London and see millions of Thatcher's children dancing through the night and shouting mental at massive illegal warehouse parties and outdoor raves attended by tens of thousands. All the boundaries and barriers and, you know, racism, it was just all dropped. Where before it was different tribes, it broke that down and became one tribe. I mean, the smiley face was everywhere. It was like, what is this? And you start to think, this is something incredible happening here, man. This is going to be really, really big. Playing mainly the new house music sound, this era saw the birth of a superstar DJ, many of whom are now world famous. To see a crowd of that size watching a guy playing just records uh, was quite amazing. It's clear when you're on stage, you can see everybody. But it's like gathering everybody to come together and have a great time. Driven by a media hate campaign, the British government acted against this new culture by pushing a bill through Parliament that would outlaw these illegal parties. There was a clear will to just stop this, you know, to just jump on this from a great height. They spent millions of pounds on a special police unit designed to crush Acid House. We started to set up computer systems so that we could talk to every force throughout the country. We had fixed swing planes, we had helicopters, we had photographics being done. They all cost an awful lot of money. You had a generation of adults who didn't understand. They didn't understand what it was all about. It's that cliche that your parents don't understand. It's so true. By 1990, the police tactics had got heavy-handed, and the government at last won the war against Acid House. The legal party scene was all but stamped out. So we, we put together the operation, and one of my sergeants suggested we call it Operation Alkaline for no other reason than its objectives were to neutralize acid. We fought for your right to party, simple as, you know. We did literally fight for it as well in the end. Featuring over 60 interviews, including the world's top DJs and rare archive footage of the first illegal acid house parties. In a feature-length documentary, they call it Acid Tales the Story of the Birth of Ray. Look at what it done, it changed youth culture. This wasn't a fad that happened in South London. This became a culture that spread across the world. 